What up, FMLers? You all know I love myself a good mixology self-love cocktail. Whether I am celebrating at a book launch or celebrating a Netflix marathon at home on my couch, Drizzly is one of the best apps to help you celebrate. Drizzly delivers your beer, wine, and spirits in under 60 minutes. It's convenient, you get exactly what you want, and you know I love a good deal. Right now, Drizzly is giving all of my FMLers $5 off their first order with code SPRING5. Just download the Drizzly app or go to drizzly.com. That's D-R-I-Z-L-Y dot com and use promo code SPRING5 for $5 off. Again, download the Drizzly app or go to drizzly.com and use code SPRING5. Cheers to celebrating your goddamn self. Happy self-love cocktailing. Gabrielle Stone, and this is FML's Guide to Fucking Healing. Let's heal some shit. What is up, my fucking FMLers? Welcome to the last episode of FML's Guide to Fucking Healing. I don't know about y'all, but I have had so much fucking fun during this last season of these mini bonus episodes. Um, the initial ones where I got on here and just like threw fucking caution to the wind and was like, I'm going to be fucking 100% authentically my weird fucking self. And they're either going to embrace me or be like, what the fuck? This bitch is crazy. Um, luckily from the DMS that I've gotten, I believe it was the first one. (laughs) So yay for that. And then we went into the guests and had some really incredible, stories, insights, and different perspectives on this crazy fucking thing that we call healing. Um, So let's do a little bit of a recap before I give you one final epic, you fucking got this um, little, I was going to say sermon, but that's like so not the right word. Um, Inspiration, kick in your ass, uh, take your pick. So we started out at fuck I'm broken. And that is so necessary in this process to admit that you are fucked up and fucking broken and be like, dude, I need some fucking help. Wave the motherfucking white flag. I need some goddamn assistance. Um, It is so important to make sure you are not bullshitting yourself. Like, okay, I have to grab the glue and start putting the pieces back together. Um, So meeting yourself where you are in an authentic way. Step two, (laughs) cut out the toxic. And this is always hard for people because everyone's experienced it in their life. And for some reason, it's still one of the hardest fucking things for us to do is know that something's toxic and be like, okay, I'm putting my foot down and I'm slicing this shit out of my life because it's no bueno. Um, It's necessary and sometimes we can't even see the toxic for what it is um, because we have those goddamn love goggles on. So recognizing and cutting out the toxic. Then we went on to patterns, fears, mirrors. Oh my. Um, I just cracked myself up, guys. Um, And this is a really important thing. When you see those patterns, when you see things that are continuously happening in your life, don't cry and be the victim about it. If something happens more than twice, that shit is not like happenstance. That's like you're attracting that in some way, shape, or form. And obviously that does not mean that you're sitting there going, I want all the assholes to come into my life. I want to be cheated on. I want to have, no. It simply means there is an unhealed belief, a subconscious belief inside of you or a lesson that needs to be learned. And until that is rectified or healed or fixed, you're gonna keep attracting the bullshit. So when those patterns come up, it is time to remember Watson, play detective and start really digging in and figuring out why is this continuously happening in my life and what do I need to shift to have a different experience or attract different things. Moving on to having a goddamn cocktail, um, gentle reminder that this 
list that should be taped on your fucking mirror in your house that you have to look at it every day so you can commit to doing something on that list um, doesn't only need to be things that make you like feel super good in the moment. Yes, those are great. Like I want to sit down, binge watch a TV show. Actually, this is this is like one of my self-love cocktails. I had the longest week of my life the other week and Tay looked at me and was like, what are you going to do tonight? And I was like, I'm going to finish recording the podcast because I had like four back to back episodes like with guests that I had to record. And those days are fucking exhausting. And I had done four the day before. Anyways, I digress. Um, and I was like, I'm going to order a salad from Health Nut, which is like my favorite place. Um, sit down binge watch a episode of that's not really binge watch watch an episode of temptation island (laughs) trash reality tv and then get a massage if that's not a fucking self-love cocktail night i don't know what is but my point is that sometimes it's stuff that makes you feel good and sometimes it's stuff that you know is going to help your mental state and eventually make you feel good nobody likes going to the gym and sweating your life away and like you know deadlifting something that's twice your weight Nobody loves do it. Well, I mean, there are people, but I don't love doing that. What I love is that it makes me feel good about my body. It makes me feel good mentally. It kicks off my endorphins. Happy people don't kill people. You know this, okay? So have a goddamn cocktail. Forgive. Fuck forgetting. We need to forgive the people that have fucked us over. I have preached on this. You maybe go back and listen to the full episode of Fuck Forgiveness on the main fml talk podcast um or go back and listen to this season's episode five because if anything can get drilled into your head this is the important one you do not have to forget about it but you have to be able to forgive them so you can let that shit go because we know that fucking david isn't walking around having like sad sad days because you have not forgiven him no that shit's eating away at your soul So for your sake, let's get on the forgiveness pass. Um, And then patience fucking sucks. Self-explanatory. Yes. (laughs) Um, It's not an overnight thing. And we're going to dig into this a little bit later. um, But it it's really important to remember to have some fucking grace with yourself. And then we got into everybody coming on and partying. We had some Lauren Denham, which everybody was like super into her different perspectives. Everybody, whenever Lauren comes on, they're like, can Lauren can come on anytime. She's always welcome on FML talk. She just has a lot of really great knowledge from all of the shit she's been through. Then we dipped into a little Christopher McNeely. Um, who's just one of my favorite humans. He's so vulnerable and so authentic. And so just like, let me show up and like spew my shit because hopefully it'll help someone. And um, I just really admire him as a man who can come on and and be that vulnerable. It's really, it's really beautiful to me. Um, And we, and then we had a little Tay. We all love when Tay comes on. Um, He is going to be back on the main show on season four is what we're on. Good God, y'all. It's fucking crazy. He will be um, on a full episode on season four. We're doing the questions episode. He is my new co-host on the questions episode because Jackie has moved on to pursuing her other dreams and endeavors. And um, I have to tell you, you guys, it was fucking wildly fun. Like we covered it all. There was like good relationship stuff in there. There was like fun laughter, ridiculous stories that like we shouldn't be telling on air per usual. Um, there was a lot of good stuff. So I think you guys will really enjoy him being, uh, the new co-host on the, um, the question episodes. Then we had some Carly motherfucking Craig, who is just one of my favorite people. I hope you guys um, are falling in love with her just as much as I adore her uh, because I'm bringing her back on next season of the minis. Uh, A lot of the people that I bring on the minis, I just love hanging out with them and talking with them so much. I consistently am like, can I use them for this mini? Will they have a good story? Um, And that poor that poor girl has been fucking through the ringer in a big way. Um, and is just the funniest little 
human on the planet. I just, I, I, I adore her. Um, and then obviously what is a season on healing without some mama Wallace in there, like the healer herself, um, who of course always comes on and spews pure fucking gold. So what I want to wrap this season up with is reminding you guys that when you're on your healing journey, it's something that you have to decide to do. It's not going to be like, oh, you know, let's just start healing and it'll be fine. And like, maybe I'll do it on Mondays and Wednesdays and take a couple days off here and there. But like, yeah, let's heal for sure. No, no, no. (laughs) Guys, when you are committing to a healing journey, that's, that's what it is. It's a massive fucking commitment. And it's not something that you can just wake up and like float through. You have to wake up and fight. You have to wake up and consciously decide, okay, who do I need to remove from my life? Or what do I need to remove from my life? And what do I need to give myself today that's going to make me take steps forward? Or do I need to give myself some grace and love today because I feel like I took a step back yesterday? What are the things that I listen to on FML's Guide to Fucking Healing that I need to pay attention to today? It's really about getting clear with yourself, making a commitment with yourself, and then showing the fuck up for yourself. And this is like in any form of healing. It doesn't have to be like, oh, I went through this massive fucking heartbreak and now I have to like, I am making the conscious decision to step on the road to heal. Like, I mean, yes, of course, that's an example, but it also doesn't have to be if there's a death, which of course you have to like grieve and process and heal from it. This can be little things like if a friend made you feel less than and brought up some triggers or traumas from your past, there's some shit to heal there. It might be a week process as opposed to a year process, but any anything that you are trying to repair part of yourself from is a healing journey. It just depends on what capacity you're starting this quest on. But whatever it is in your life that you're like, fuck, I need to heal some shit. Look at it like a fucking challenge. A challenge that's like exciting, not a challenge of like, oh, fuck, I gotta, I have to do this. I don't want to do this, but I have to. So I'm going to do it begrudgingly. A challenge that's exciting, a challenge that's like, fuck, I'm going to commit so fucking hard to this. I can't even imagine how epic I'm going to be in six months. Okay, we are going to take a quick break because I have some exciting news. What up, FMLers? This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. You guys know what an advocate of therapy I am. I think everyone should go to therapy, even if there is nothing wrong in your life. Because no matter what may or may not be going on, life can be fucking stressful. Therapy is a part of my self-love cocktail. It is a non-negotiable if I'm going to be in a relationship with someone, and it has saved and changed my life. A lot of my friends have had success with BetterHelp, and I know a lot of my FMLers will too. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist, so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy. Give it a try and see if online therapy can help lower some of your stress. FML Talk listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash FML Talk. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash FML Talk. Get some therapy into that self-love cocktail. Cheers. Like really fucking commit and do that for yourself. And like, if that's reading a good self-help book, 
great. If that's doing some self-love cocktail things every day, which it should be, great. If that's cutting certain people out and really like putting those boundaries up and holding those boundaries fucking strong, great. Like what are the things that you need to commit to to make you continue walking forward? It's so important that when you decide to do this, it first comes the decision. It's the decision to start. And once you've made that decision, it's a commitment into anything else that doesn't fucking support this process right now. Y'all can fuck off like closed for business. Sorry, not right now. I will let you know when I am on the other side. Maybe you'll be invited back. Maybe not. Anything that does not support my fucking healing journey, y'all can kick rocks and then be fucking ruthless about it. Becky, do you want to go out and get some drinks? Mm, I'm sorry, that's not a part of my process right now. So I'll have to rain check you on those cocktails. Um, Becky, why am I using Becky? Didn't we hate Becky in a past episode? I don't know, whatever. Um, Becky, do you want to go on vacation with us right now? And, you know, we're going to go and it's this singles resort. And we're going to flirt with all these people and there's going to be drinks flowing and it's going to no Becky uh, or no, we are Becky. Oh, my God, Gabrielle, my brain. I'm so too tired, you guys. Um, no, we we don't want to do that because I am going to stay here. I am going to meditate. I am going to fucking really hit the gym and feed my body filled with like really great food until I feel so fucking mentally strong that I wouldn't go on that girl's trip with you guys and end up crying in a pool of tears with tequila. (laughs) Okay, great. Protect your fucking peace. Make the commitment to yourself and do not waver. And then obviously have grace. Okay. If there's a night where you fall off and you're like, "Mm, fuck, I did that. And like, it would have been better to not do that for my healing journey's purpose. That's okay. But then don't make that mistake again. Like really, really commit to it. This is huge on cutting people out. So if you're like, this person's fucking toxic, I'm cutting them out. It's not enough to cut them out and be like, "Mm, but maybe I'll look at their social media. I'm sorry. That's not cutting them out. Okay. Well, mm, but like, I'll still daydream about them. Uh, no brain. Sorry. That's not a part of our fucking healing journey. So cut it out, cutting out the person completely blocking on all social media, making the commitment to yourself to not look at that social media making the commitment to yourself to fully cut that person out, fully blocking that person out. If you start daydreaming about them, mm, sorry, brain, we're going to revert that thought and start thinking about pink elephants or whatever. Brad Pitt, I don't fucking care. Choose something and tell your brain to get the fuck on board. You got to start policing yourself and really fucking commit. All of this is a very long-winded way with many, many explanations of saying, when you decide to start this journey, go fucking all in. Because if you don't go all in, all that's going to happen is you're going to like take a couple steps forward and then you realize that you're like snowball rolling on your ass backwards. Gabrielle, that literally doesn't even make sense. Like I can see what I'm talking about in my head, but like that the words didn't come out the right way. Anyways, you're going to take a couple steps forward and you're going to then be fucking rolling backwards on your goddamn ass ass because you didn't fully commit because you were like, yeah, cool. Healing sounds great. Like, let's like do a little bit of healing. No, it's have you made the decision? Are you tired of feeling shitty? Are you ready to fucking like feel better and like patch your heart back up and like create some good shit coming into your life? Then let's commit and everything else that doesn't support that can fuck off. So now that we've, now that I've berated you into how you're going to, I love how this episode is titled, You Fucking Got This. And instead it's me being like, listen, bitch, you have to get your fucking shit together. You've got to commit, line up. <laughs> um, but you know, I love you. It's all tough love. Um, but really, you do fucking got this, you guys. Like you have it so well. And if you ever feel like you're like, fuck, I don't know what I'm doing and I'm just floundering in the middle of the world, 
you can always come back and binge all 12 episodes of this season because literally, you guys, this season has been fucking gold. Not to toot my own horn, but this season... (laughs) Toot toot, but this season has really like laid out a roadmap for you. So anytime you feel like you're like, fuck, I'm like getting a little off track, or you have a new obstacle that you need to heal from, this is the place that you come back to and you re listen to episodes one through 12. And you're like, okay, Gabrielle's here. She's got my back. I fucking got this. Let's move out, team. And it's going to be fucking great. Okay? Okay. I love you guys. Um, Let's talk about what's coming for season five of the minis. I can't even believe season five of the minis. Like, what in the actual fuck? Like, two years ago, I was not even less than two years ago, I was like, I'm not starting a fucking podcast. I don't have anything to talk about. Everybody has a podcast. What am I even going to say? And here we are with all my secret society of FMLers. So season five is going to be FML's Dirty Little Secrets. And I wanted to do this because I wanted a fun kind of just like, you know, we do a lot of heavy and like therapy and, um, you know, like meaty topics on the main show. And I wanted to do something that was just like fun, maybe a little raunchy, a little bit dirty, a little bit secretive. Um, So it's going to be FML's guide, not FML's guide, Gabrielle. It's going to be FML's dirty little secrets. So I am going to kick off the first episode. And the way I'm going to do this is I... I'm going to give people that I bring on the option of if they want to stay anonymous or if they want to tell us who they are. Um, Some of the people I bring on, like, you know, their fucking voice by now, so they don't really have a choice. But um, I'm going to kick off the first episode telling you one of my dirty little secrets, um, which I really had to sit there and think about because there's not much shit I haven't talked to you guys about. But this one's fucking good. So get ready for that. We are going to take one week of a break. And then season five will be off and running in full fucking force. I absolutely love you guys. Thank you for joining me on season four of FML's Guide to Fucking Healing. I absolutely loved this season. I hope you guys loved it just as much. And as always, have a motherfucking self-love cocktail on me. I'll see you guys in a week. Cheers.